this world Better than the sound of my friends' voices Better than the biggest dreams in my heart And that's just the start Better than getting what I say I need Better than living the life that I want to Better than the love anyone could give Your love is You hold me now in your arms Never let me go Here we go You alone, Lord, make the sunshine come When the moonlight shine in the nighttime sky I give my heart to you Just the start Better than getting what I say I need Better than living the life that I want to Better than the love anyone could give Your love is You hold me now In your arms Never let me go You alone, Lord, make the sunshine come And the moonlight shine in the nighttime sky You give me breath and all your love I give my heart to you
hope you guys had a great week and I hope you guys use your creativity to do awesome things this week. Like last week, we learned how to make a cube out of just a piece of paper, right? We used our creativity to color and to cut and paste and to make a cube out of just a piece of paper. And I hope you guys use your creativity to do other things as well. For me too, I use my creativity this week to make something else. And um, last week, I made a fan, right? Out of just a piece of paper. And this time, I'm going to teach you guys or show you guys what else I made. So with a piece of paper, I just folded it in half and folded it in again. And I made like a little, like, if, what does it look like, everyone? kind of like a flower right and i realized that if i cut it here cut the bottom here and i took some green paper and folded it again and i'm going to stick it in the middle and let's see what i made it's a flower right isn't it so crazy that i can make a flower with just a piece of paper i hope that you guys can do more right um to think and be creative to make something out of maybe just a piece of paper or whatever you have at home use your imagination and creativity and so like i said right i kind of use the word a lot creativity that's our big word of the month right so let's read it all together it says creativity imagining what you could do because you were made in god's image and so right creativity is our big word of the month and remember right that this month's theme is god our creator let's say it together one two three god our creator and so because god created us last week we learned right we learned that god created us and that's why we can be creative like god but boys and girls do you do you do you remember what i'm kind of forgetting announcement time right i totally forgot about annou announcement time and so let's go back to announcement time right for announcements this week right or this month we have a bible reading chart and a prayer chart and i sent it to your parents so if you don't have it say oh ma, pa, mom dad can you print it out for me and i realized our new kindergartners might not know what it is so this chart that you have every day we're gonna read the bible for five minutes anything in the bible that you want for five minutes and if you do that you can just write your initials or your parents initials in the box and on the chart there's a prayer part that says monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and on that day if you just pray that simple prayer you could check off the prayer box and so if you guys do that every day every box is one talent so if you do it every day for one whole month you could get up to 60 talents and so i hope that you guys pray and read the bible every day and i i want to see you guys checking it off and at the end of the month you could send it to my email and what other announcement do we have? Pictures, right? And so every week, take a picture of you wearing proper attire, Bible, and offering. And I will give you guys talents for that. And so please send me pictures. And this week, the pictures that I received are here. Good job, everyone. I know some of you guys even the G2G. And so people who haven't done G2G kids, Let's try to do our G2Gs and I want to see more kids, more of you guys send pictures of doing G2G as well. And this week, the people who earn talents are... <laughs> Good job, everyone. I want you to keep it up. Most of you guys got more talents by memorizing your Bible first. And so remember to memorize your Bible first and tell your small group leaders that you guys memorized it, okay? All right. So going back into message time, right? What did we say that our theme was? 
God, our creator. Yes. And that our big word of the month was creativity. And I want to share with you guys in the Bible, right? We're going to learn. Remember the person named Paul? His name was Saul. And then he became Paul because that's when he understood that Jesus was really our savior and that Paul Once he met Jesus and received Jesus into his heart, he shared about Jesus to everyone. Remember that person, Paul, we learned about last month? And so Paul wrote letters to churches. And I'm going to read you one verse that he, um, a part of something that he wrote to the church of Ephesus. And it's in Ephesians 2.10. And let's read it all together. Ready? One, two, three. We are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. Good job. And so in this verse, it says that God, He created us, right? Yeah, last week we learned that God, He created us and because He created us, right? We have creativity. And in this verse, Paul said we were made to do good works. So let's connect those two things, right? We were made to be creative and we were made to do good works. And if you put it together, we can use our creativity to do good works. And so let's all remember that. And oh, Hello, Pastor Jenny. Hi, Pastor Anna. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Jenny. Are you busy right now? What are you doing? Oh, I'm talking to my Capstone kids. Oh. Hi, Pastor. <gasps> Pastor Jenny says hi, everyone. Say hello, Pastor Jenny. <gasps> Pastor Jenny, what's up? Do you have something? It's your mom's birthday this Tuesday? Yeah. <gasps> wow. I don't know what to do. You see, like, I don't have much money to buy her a cake or a present, but I really want to give her a present. <gasps> what did I do, Pastor Anna? Oh. Yes! I can use my creativity to help you to make a present for your mom. See, Pastor Jenny doesn't have money to buy a gift, so she's asking me if I can use my creativity to make her mom a gift. Hmm, let me think. What can I do? What can Pastor Jenny do using her creativity? <gasps> I know, Pastor Jenny. I I know how you what you can give to your mom. You can maybe make a flower. See, I showed my capstone kids how I made a flower with just paper. You can make a flower for your mom. A flower? She loves flowers, Pastor Anna. <gasps> Yay! I hope that your mom would really like it. Thank you, Pastor Anna, and your creativity. I'm going to go right now to make the flowers, okay? Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye, Pastor Jenny! <gasps> Did you guys just see that? I didn't even know that I could help someone with my creativity. <gasps> But Pastor Jenny called... and said, oh, she wants to make a present or buy a present for her mom because her mom's birthday is coming this Tuesday. But she didn't have any money to buy her mom a present, so she wanted to use creativity to make something for her mom. And huh, the flower that I made with my creativity helped Pastor Ginny have an idea so she can make a flower for her mom see just like that boys and girls capstone kids you can use your creativity to do good works and 
to use your creativity to help others. And so let's read our bottom line for this month and let's read it all together. One, two, three. God created you so you can be creative. Let's read it one more time. One, two, three. God created you so you can be creative. Good job, everyone. And let's read our memory verse together, which is Psalm 145.3. And it says, Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his greatness. Good job, everyone. And so, just like the verse said, praise God because he has made us and he has given us creativity to do good works. So, boys and girls, let's use our creativity to be creative and to help others, whether it's your mom, your siblings, or your friends. Okay, so let's all close our eyes and hands together and let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much for teaching us that we can use our creativity to do good works because you have created us to do good works. And so God, I pray that you will help us to be creative and to help others and to do good works. And so, God, I pray that we would have an awesome week and that you'll keep us safe and that we would have a fun time at small group today as well. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, Capstone, I hope you guys have a good time during small group time. And I will see you next week. Bye! Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil ones. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.